Placencia cigars. Perfected for more than 150 years. Yours to enjoy now. Stogie Geeks, welcome to Volume 2 of Episode 328. This is the Stick of the Week feature. This is the point where Drew and I tell you what we have been smoking. And at the end of this, pay attention, we have a quick announcement in regards to a online contest that is going on. If you are on our social media for Stogie Geeks uh, on Facebook or Twitter, you already know about it. But if you don't, we're going to tell you about it now. So today, the stick of the week is the Placencia Cosecha 146. The exact size is the Monte Carlo, and that is a 6 by 58 If you want to check out the review of what we've been smoking, all you got to do is go to stogiegeeks.com, click on the Stogies section, and away you go. And if you want all of the sticks under the Placencia series in our reviews, we are going to update the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Placencia, and away you go with that. If you want to find a Placencia retailer near you, all you have to do is click on the Placencia logo, type in your zip code, and away you go. Call your local brick and mortar. They'll ship you some sticks. There you go. Drew, Placencia Cosecha, which stands for the harvest. Yes. One four six. Out of the series that we've done, this is my favorite for sure. Mm. If I were to choose, I like them all. I'm very into the Placencia blend, but this here, uh, the wrapper is from Honduras. It is a Criollo ninety eight. The binder is from Nicaragua. It's also a Criollo ninety eight, uh, and the filler is Nicaraguan with Honduran. Um, fillers in there. It's available in one, two, three, four, five different sizes. Monte Carlo, San Luis, San Augustin, the Vega, and La Musica. What we're talking about right now is the Monte Carlo, and it is a 6 by 58 ring gauge. Um, strength is medium, for sure. Little bit spicier, so there will be a spicy component. In both the uh, regular hail and retro hail, for sure, you get complex sweetness from the wrapper, and you get smoke lingering on your palate for days with the stick, for sure. Mm-hmm. It's been rated 91 uh, by various ratings, and what are your thoughts on this stick, Drew? Yeah, my thoughts on this stick uh, started with a. You know, uh, to me, it was more in a, in a medium body, you know, form for me. Uh, the, uh, you know, it's a, it is a great smoke. It's something that you can enjoy pretty much all day, you know, any time of the day. Uh, it's, it, it's, you know, it's, it's simple. It's delightful. Uh, I've had this stick multiple times with my cup of coffee in the morning when I'm up at 4.30 in the morning out in the cigar and, and just kind of contemplating my day. And then, uh, but yeah, this, 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 uh, the stick for me, the notes that that come to mind right off the bat, as you said, it's spice. You know, the spice really comes through, uh, and it, and it just tends to go down the gamut of of some some almond uh, creaminess, and then leather component, and then into some some chocolate, uh, and then from there it just starts to settle in, and and these these uh, aromas just intertwine and uh, on the retro hill you definitely get that that spice come through and it's not really like uh overburdening spice you know, like some some really hard like hero spices but it's definitely a, a, a really complement to the sweetness that this uh this this sets under um on the finish for me you know th- there there was some floral tones uh, uh i was trying to see if i could pick out the uh the dry fruit in there because there is some kind of uh a uh, between a citrus and fruity uh, at, at, towards the end there. Um, but, yeah, wonderful stick, and I enjoy it. So, I definitely think you should seek this stick out as a yeah. stogie geek. And the reason being is um, you got to look at the name and the, 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 the meaning behind the name. Cosecha stands for harvest. It's the 146th yes. harvest. If you're doing the math, that came out 2011-2012. Yeah. Harvest. So let's just stop and take a minute there and just ponder that, right? 
you, you, yeah. your, your, the tobacco has been aged from a specific time, the harvest, right? The 146. Yeah, 2011, uh, and 2012. It's, yep, it 20, 20, 20, uh, 2012, and it's been aged. So that's where, you know, aged tobacco happens a lot, especially in the boutique world, right? You try, like, yeah, it's okay, and then you let it sit and rest. Um, as we know, I'm not a patient person like that. However, most of the aged stuff that I get a chance to enjoy is because someone else has aged it, for sure. Um, if I was up to my own demise, I probably wouldn't age it, but that's just, that's just my own consumer behavior. Uh, but however, because it's been aged from that 2012 release, you are going to get deeper nuances of true Nicaraguan tobacco smoke component, like in most of the placentias, very high density in smoke on the palate for sure. Uh, we reviewed previously the Robusto Gordo size, which was um, five and, and, and a quarter by 52. I like that ring gauge a little bit better than the there, but uh, super awesome stick for you to enjoy. I look at it this way. If you're going to a barbecue or a fire pit or something of this nature and you want to sit back and relax and enjoy a, a good cigar – this is a very, very good choice for that. Or when COVID restrictions get released and you want to go to your local brick and mortar and check them out, by the way, you go to stogiegeeks.com, click on the Placencia banner, type in your zip code, and then you'll be able to find a local brick and mortar that carries Placencia. Um, you will treat yourself to a really, really good stick and a really, really good time. So, um, it, And it's one of those sticks that, you know, would I make it a go-to stick? Yes. But I would make it a go-to stick if I were going to smoke it in a cadence that would allow me to relax. In other words, I wouldn't yes. smoke it while doing work or just as a regular stick of the day or something like that. Having it first thing in the morning, a cup of coffee or espresso, for me, oh, yeah. is really where it's at. Agreed. Agreed 100% on that because, to, like I said, I mean, it's, it's one of those cigars where you can uh, – I've literally had this cigar – I've had a box and they're gone already. <laughs> yep. So no, I actually you know, have one left. I have yeah, one left from from our stash that that we've had, and we we've had a box. Um, yeah. Therefore, the rating it's, it's box worthy. It was box. box worthy with the other rating. This is box worthy as well. I like the smaller ring gauge a little bit better, so I would probably more gravitate towards that. You know, uh, fifty two ring gauge uh, there. You know. Um, Three of the sizes, two of the sizes are 52, and one's in 50. Those are awesome sizes to get into. The 58, it's okay. It's just a little big for me. But, uh, again, it doesn't take away from the taste. But if you really want to get into the taste, the smaller ring gauge is, is, is where it's at. And and if you get into the ring gauge and have that there, like if you're, if you're in that barbecue setting or that fire pit setting, and it's that – Smoke content is going to linger on your palate to where you might not go for a second cigar and then you can enjoy times with the non-cigar smokers and you've still had your quote-unquote cigar fix. At least that's now, how I you, operate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, when you say that this smoke lingers, it definitely does. I mean, it, the content is very rich. Uh, you know, for me, I, you know, I, you know, my tongue receptors, you know, picked up a lot of the, the, uh, the meatiness of this cigar. And by no, by no means, I mean it's 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 not like a heavy meatiness. It's just a nice, very lean uh, cigar uh, as far as uh, you know what I'm, what I'm talking about in the consistency consistency of meatiness, uh, good flavor, good good aromas, and the way they meld together on this particular ring uh, ring gate size, for sure you could you could definitely uh, uh, understand. The the, the 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 simple nuances on this cigar. Mm, absolutely. What else have you been smoking, Drew? So I got introduced to these uh, uh, cigars called Black Char Chizaro Habano cigar. Uh, the the tobaccos are uh, this 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 the tobaccos are a uh, they're all from Mexico. Uh, they are uh, San Andreas. Uh, they come from San Andreas. Uh, Tujala and Veracruz. Uh, there are three different blends with this with this Mexican San Andreas Puro. Uh, 
uh, just, I'm sorry, excuse me. There are three different brand blends offered. So they have a Mexican San Andreas Puro. Uh, they also have a, a Connecticut Golden and a Habana uh, cigar in this in this uh, in their line. Uh, the Black and Habana are available now, and the Golden yet, and the Golden is yet to be released. Uh, both uh, both Cesar cigars are Mexican Puros. Uh, all the leaf is grown and harvested in Mexico, and the Black Cesaro is also uh, a San Andreas uh, Negro Puro. So, again, uh, this cigar, for me, uh, a wrapper Habana, binder San Andreas, and filler San Andreas Negro. Uh, so, at the first at the first looking at the cigar, you know, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it's, uh, it has a little oil to it, uh, a little oil sheen to it. Uh, it does have uh, minimal veins, and it is kind of it is kind of a rough uh, uh, in texture, but not to the point where you can feel everything. It just looks that way. Uh, sweet cedar aroma at the first light of this of this uh, stick. Uh, it transitioned very well into the pepper uh, smoke content from there. Just got very heavy, uh, and because it is a it is a heavy body cigar, uh, smoky uh, spice transitions through. Uh, the stone uh, later on, a little bit of a like a like a stone dried fruit sweetness, uh, kind of liken it to a, like a date, um, and then from there the the leather st- start components start to really meld together with a little bit of a sweetness that I consider it to be more on the maple side, and then uh, from there just transition into the, to the cedar uh, uh, between the cedar and then it, and then it just charred just a little bit, and then from there it, it just it just started to really take off. And, and bring all these flavors together. Uh, <clears throat> almond, uh, almond, almond on the finish. A little bit of the spice, baking spice. I, I would say uh, came through and really completed this journey with the cigar. Um, this cigar, like I said, for me, it's it's a new. Uh, I've actually smoked four of these uh, before. You know, deciding to go ahead and give it a rating. Uh, I'm going to definitely give it a fiver at this point. Uh, you can buy these in a box of ten, but I wanted to try these and, and give them a, a, a real good going. And for me, I, I definitely would uh, uh, get these uh, again in a fiber and just enjoy these uh, throughout my uh, rotation. Cool. Quick question. Is it yeah. it's is it a true medium? It is. A, I would say medium to full. OK. You know, uh, more on the more on the more on the higher echelon, a medium and in the bear and teetering into the full. How's the wet? How's the retro hail? Retro hail is beautiful on this one. I mean, there's you mm. don't get no, uh, you don't you don't get that spice uh, kick in uh, until you get into the second third of the cigar. But at, at first, you know, my first two draws are just kind of just getting the flavor, just trying to get my palate, you know, uh, uh, coated uh, with with what's there, and then uh, taste the wrapper. And that San Andreas wrapper does not disappoint, as you uh, as you know. Uh, I'm mm. a, I'm a big fan of the San Andreas wrapper, uh, but then from there it just uh, when you go into retro on the second, the the pepper does come through just a little bit tad more, but not to the point where it's overbearing or has you you know getting a drink and it doesn't leave your mouth dry either. It, this cigar here just really uh, the saliva in your on your on your palate it stays there so it doesn't dry it out and that's the other good thing about the cigar i had the cigar in the evening and went to bed you know i did my you know brush my face and rinse my mouth but still in the morning when i got up i didn't i didn't have that you know that 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 feeling that 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 tobacco was there lingering um you know and, and giving me that morning <laughs> cigar uh uh, taste that my wife does not like at all. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, 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 I get that sometimes. And it, it's like, you've had, what the hell did you smoke yesterday? Like, you know, I get that a lot in the morning. Like, man, like it's still yeah. on you. I'm like, well, I showered and freaking brushed my teeth. I don't know. What are you going to do? Yeah. It is. Yeah, I, I hear you. Uh, quick yeah. question. Um, did it burn fast? It burned- the reason why I'm asking is, so, in my experience, some of the Mexican stuff burns mm-hmm. a little bit faster and doesn't run as moist as some of the other sticks 
good cadence, good cadence on this one. I mean, I, I was, you know, and I, and I do write down my, my cadence on these cigars because that's one of the things that I want to, you know, impart to the, when I'm introducing the cigar to friends of mine, you know, take it slow, take it fast, you know, return to it every couple minutes, what have you. This cigar, I went, I went back to it, uh, every, about every two and a half to three minutes. Uh, so, uh, for me, it burned pretty, pretty evenly. Uh, there was no, no runs in it whatsoever. Uh, it, it did, it did, uh, <clears throat> it did go, I would say about a 50 minute cigar, uh, on this mm. one. And cool. Uh, my final question is how did you hear about it? Heard about it through my brick and mortar. So, you know, I went over to Nomi and as we were talking about earlier in our earlier segment about walking into the B and M's and, uh, you know, what's uh, new? <laughs> yeah. I, and I asked Nomi, I go, Hey, Nomi, what's new? And he says, Hey, I got these, got these, uh, Mexican puros. Uh, he goes, I've been waiting for you to come by to, to grab some and well, here you go. And so, uh, yeah, so he, he, he introduced me to these and, uh, so far, what I've seen online, I mean, this was an older brand, I believe, back in 2014, something like that. It was an older brand, and then it went away. Somebody else has the brand now, and then they just kind of revamped it, and uh, it's it's been pretty successful uh, on both sides of the spectrum. But on this side of the spectrum, they're hoping to really uh, catch fire with it and move forward and be able to develop uh, you know, from there to add to their lines. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. 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 That, that, are they, uh, I wonder if they're relatively new on the scene or, or how yeah. the, how Nomi well, found I, out about them. Yeah, no, they, like I said, they, they were, they were, they were around early back in the mid, mid, uh, uh, I believe it was 2014. I think it is. Uh, so they were available back then. They just weren't, they just did not grab or catch on, uh, until this other company in Mexico or this other company, I think they're from Mexico. Yeah, they, they are. Uh, they decided to go ahead and and, and 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 envelope the brand, and then they brought it to their uh, factory, and then they started to roll it out. And now this this this, this these are available in three different Vitolas. They are in, in a, and and packaged in a in a twenty five count bundle and a ten count uh, white lacquered boxes. So they are available in a robusto, uh, which is a five by fifty. Uh, Toro six by fifty two. And a torpedo at six by fifty two as well. And are they available on Nomi's new website? In case the they story geeks available. listener does, case the story yes. geeks listener doesn't want to go on a wild goose chase to try to find them. <laughs> oh yeah, Prestige Cigars and Tobacco uh, in Bedford, Texas. They they you know they, we have a new website up. That's my home lounge. Uh, that's my playground. That's where I go and hang out with the the wonderful people there. Uh, right now, our lounge is closed because we are uh, we are doing curbside service, but we're also expanding that location. Uh, it's getting a whole new suite, uh, and it's it's going through uh, construction right now. So, but the uh, but you're able still to walk in uh, or do curbside service, and uh, and Nomi has has them ready to go. Yeah, and he'll be able to ship them out as well. So, yes, sir. Go. That'd be good to not go on a wild goose chase these days. No, no, no. Um, don't need don't need to put people in harm's way. So very responsible gotcha. for us. There you go. I am currently enjoying the JT series by Kristoff. Um, uh -huh. Like I said last uh, week and past couple weeks, I've been really getting into some of the Kristoff stuff. Uh, I'll be giving a review of this stick um, pretty soon. But the Kristoff stick I want to speak about is the stick I had at the beginning of last show, but I've also had it before. I would say it's one of my go-to Kristoff sticks. I really, really like this. This is a Kristoff 685 Woodlawn. Uh, it's in a perfecto shape. It's available in one size, 6.5 by 60, right? But mm. the, around the, the perfecto shape, it doesn't have that big – I know it's a big ring gauge, so I don't need people saying, Joe, you're an idiot, right? You say you don't like big ring gauges, but here you are reviewing a 60. Nah, it, the way it is in the mouth, it's not like a big ring gauge there. The mouth's preferito shape, awesome stick. It's um, The wrapper is Brazilian. Binder is Nicaraguan. <coughs> Excuse me. Filler is Nicaraguan with Dominican Habano. On a scale of 1 to 10, complexity, flavor, and balance, all eights. Super cool stick. Really like this. 
Uh, like I said, it's available in, in one size. Cigar starts off with a mix of wood, has a little bit of sweetness. And then when it starts off, you get some light pepper, right? Then when you're about halfway through, so it kind of builds up, right? Now when you get halfway through, it gets to the bigger part of the uh, prefer, the, the perfecto shape, right? Yeah. yeah. And then you get a natural tobacco flavor, which surfaces, um, and I start to get stronger and pepper as the stick heats up. It kicks in, and then it fades back to the original natural sweetness. So it's a tasty stick for me, but it's a it, it has flavors of earth. Uh, it's tasty and really, really natural Nicaraguan, Brazilian with Dominican Habano setting. Very unique mm. flavor. Absolutely positively. They come in boxes of 10. So, I mean, I'd make it a fiver or a box split um, there. They are readily available at uh, Church Hill Smoke Shop and Lounge, uh, who is ironically through COVID doing uh, shipping uh, as well. So if you want the URL, you can email me at joeh at stogiegeeks.com because they're doing a URL crisis where it's in one domain and it's got to go to another, but there is a store set up and there's some internet snafu things going on for the next 14 days. But I can give yeah. you the link to where you can buy it off of their site and they can ship it there too. Um, like I said, they have the 685 wood lawns, which apparently from Christoph, only a couple of select shops actually do get a chance to sell this offering from Christoph. So it is a little bit of an exclusive um, with, with with some of the shops. And I'm just lucky enough to have one, my local shop uh, have that stick. Like I said, I began that stick uh, in the beginning uh, of last week's show, and I enjoyed it um, through, through uh, throughout the, 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 the latter part of the show. Uh, as we were post interview and getting into the sticks of the week there too, so that was a six eight five Woodlawn by Kristoff. Definitely get out there; it's box worthy. Comes in boxes of ten. It'll be a great treat for you for sure. Mm. Nice. So my next stick we're going to go uh, go into it's going to be the Crown Heads by the Angels. Uh, excuse me, it's called the Crown Heads, <laughs> the Angels Anvil. It's a TAA. Uh, 2019. It's a 6x50. Ooh, TAA. Fancy oh, pants. Yeah. That's right, baby. <laughs> uh, $12 stick. So, uh, some areas are about 13 and some change. Uh, so, for for 2019, uh, Boutique Legends, uh, for 2019, Boutique Legends Crown Heads have released their sixth consecutive exclusive cigar for Tobacconist Association of America. Retailer, uh, retailers nationwide. Uh, the cigar is complex. Uh, it's about a medium to full body. I'm going to say it's more on the full body side. Uh, the wrapper on this is going to be a Brazilian wrapper, and I can't say that name for what. Uh, Arapica? Araparaca. Araparapica. There you go. So, Araparaca. Uh, Brazilian. Uh, Araparaca. Okay. So, Brazilian <laughs> Araparaca. The only reason why wrapper. I know that, the only reason why I know that, I'm not showing off. I've been corrected by Paul Azadorian on that so many times. <laughs> okay, well, now you're passing the baton. There we go. Passing the baton. So, that's right, baby. So binder on this one is an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper, so that tells you right now that you're gonna you're in for something special and mm -hmm. filler Nic Nic Nicaraguan. So uh, this this stick, I mean, I, I, you know, I'm a big Crown Heads fan. I love a lot of their Tennessee Waltz, uh, their Juarez stick. Uh, they actually just did a stick with Drew Estates, a collaboration with them as well. I believe that's called La Co 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 Coision. Uh, so anyways, when I was, when I got these, when I got these sticks, I was, I was very happy to receive, uh, a five, a five pack of these. Uh, so I got these sticks, uh, about, uh, five, six months ago and little by little, I've been going through them. And so I finished off the last one about a week and a half ago and <clears throat> did not disappoint. Uh, again, uh, big anticipation. Uh, I had a high, you know, High expectations of the stick, and, and it did not let me down whatsoever. So at first, I mean, this this stick is uh, uh very smooth in in texture. Uh, it, it does have some 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 veins, but not not too much. Uh, cap is beautiful on this, uh, and uh, it's got a double band. Uh, it's got the uh, TAA band on it, and then you got the crown heads at the foot of the uh, cigar. Uh, so taste notes on this for me. At first, you know, you get a good dose of earth for sure. I mean, you light this up, take a nice draw, then you take another one, and you definitely have that earth component there. And uh, from there, it just goes into uh, 
uh, the dark coffee uh, that that came from the wrapper just really started to come through uh, for me at this point on my palate. And then from there, it just started to transition very well, and, and, you know, into a pepper. And that's, this is where I start to really get into my retro hills. And the pepper just came through just as nice as I expected on this. It did not disappoint whatsoever. And, and did lead me, it did lead me into that, that, that oak uh, char um, there. Uh, and, and, and then, and then uh, it was just a very enjoyable on my palate as far as the, the acids, the, uh, the, uh, the dark coffee, uh, and then also from the, uh, the pepper, the spice of the pepper. Uh, a little bit of the baking spice in there as well uh, is, what I, is what, I could, what I could really uh, concentrate on. And then, again, as I got into the second, uh, third of the cigar, uh, the last half of that, the b- a blast of pepper. I mean, just really came on really strong. And, again, I, I love that. I love that. I Trust me. I, one thing I love about uh, cigars that are in the medium to full range, uh, uh, it definitely uh, did, not let, did not disappoint. Um, also, you know, towards the end, you still get more pepper. It's just kind of, it's just kind of evened out. And with that, you get that you get that oak and cedar in there. Um, I think the cedar. I, I'm not sure if I was really, really on that, but I definitely got the oak. The cedar. I'm saying more because the aroma, and it could have been just that I was retrohelling to the point where it was like every other draw I was retrohelling. <laughs> so uh, it may have messed with my uh, my aroma uh, glands there for a second. Uh, molasses uh, sweetness. Uh, to the finish of this stogie, and I, and and for me, it was just everything that I had to hope for uh, going into this Crown Heads stick. Uh, stogie yeah. Geeks rating for me on this one is going to be a box split. Uh, I would definitely uh, box split these all day. I would, you know, uh, only because I don't want to hog them all. I want to share them, with, you know, with the masses. So if anybody is interested, you know, next year I'll definitely do a box split with y'all. There you go. Yeah, I'm and a fan the, of Crowned Heads for sure. Yeah. They they uh super cool stuff. Um yeah. you know, I I love the um four kicks by Crown Heads. Um it's one of their originals. Uh you know, as a matter of fact that there there's a box with my name on it over at the Havana Cigar Club that uh I I have on reserve. So um Definitely love that stick, and it's in a robusto size, which obviously with the COVID thing going on and the way my smoking uh, habits have changed, I'm really getting into the robustos uh, there just because of time restraints with the little guy, for sure. Yeah. Um, the final stick I, I want to talk about today is uh, Roma Craft Cro Magnon. Mm. Um, yes. it, I had it, it's a petite robusto. Uh, it's called the Knuckle Dragger. It's a four yeah. by fifty-two. Uh, the wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. Um, binder is Cameroon. The filler is Nicaraguan. Complexity, flavor, and balance on a scale of one to ten. Complexity, I gave it a nine. Keep in mind, this is a petite robusto size, right? Complexity, I gave it a nine. Flavor, I gave it an eight. And balance, I gave it a nine, which mm. it's so savory and spicy. And the Maduro wrapper really comes out with, like, uh, it's very toasty, if I could create a visual, right? comes out very, very toasty. Um, the uh, filler is uh, grown from uh, different regions in, in Nicaragua uh, there. And it's really got a nice power bomb component mm-hmm. to it. So, like, power in taste and if you're new to cigar smoking i could see where you could probably call it a pepper bomb but Mm -hmm. you know um it might be a pepper bomb because i bullet cut it uh as well so you know you're getting all that tar build up there but the strength continues to build as you smoke it and it gets bigger in strength and bigger in bold flavors and um one of the things that really really stuck out for me is that the knuckle dragger is just so well balanced for a powerful robusto. So oh, yeah. again, you have 40 minutes, 45 minutes to an hour smoke, want something really kind of spicy and bold, 
that that's well balanced and and has a good pepper component. The Cro-Magnum, uh, the Romocraft Knuckle Dragger, Cro-Magnum is the way to go. Stogie yeah. Geeks Raiden box split with a friend. Uh, yes. You know they're good sticks to have if you're uh, having a fire pit and you know you want you don't want to smoke a two hour because you want to be you know uh, uh, social as well as there or just talk about the stick or whatever. Uh, it's a great hour stick for you to uh, enjoy that. You know, again, the one of the key takeaways from this stick for me with the Roma Craft was the uh, balance for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's one thing Skip Martin will do for you on this Roma Craft, uh, Roma Craft brand is uh, he will give you a blast of pepper. I, mm. I, I particularly love the Neanderthal sticks. That's my that's my go to stick. When you guys were talking about go to sticks earlier, that that's. That's my go-to stick. I mean, I, I love the Neanderthal uh, stick, and uh, it, it's it's like you said, it's a four four by fifty-two. It's a great size, and it gives you everything that you want in a heavy, you know, body cigar, in in in, in, a, in a short uh, quality time. You know, like you said, forty-five fifty-minute stick. And I've had the Chrome Magnet, and I love that stick as well. I mean, that's another stick of Skip Martin's that to me is just fabulous. And uh, but this, this, you know, but these two sticks definitely uh, they're not a morning stick. That's for sure. I mean, these are for uh, middle in the afternoon, uh, getting into the evening. Uh, but, uh, you know, on a Saturday or Sunday, if you're at the if you're at the lounge, definitely grab one off the shelf and try that. I mean, you're going to you're going to love that stick. And I guarantee you that will be in your rotation in your humidor. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Want to take the time out to let the Story Geeks listeners know that McAuliffe Cigars is looking for ambassadors. It's a great program. All you got to do is go to StoryGeeks.com, click on and you will get uh, exclusive reviews on a very, very closed, active social media group. It's a great way to – they've been getting some fascinating interviews from all aspects of the industry, uh, letting you know everything that's going on in and out of the McAuliffe Cigar uh, uh, company as well. So you want to uh, sign up for the Ambassador Program there. All you got to do is go to stogiegeeks.com. Also, uh, our partner, J.C. Newman, is launching a series. It started uh, April 21st. It runs till May 15th, so you still got 15 days to participate on this. All you have to do is go to stogiegeeks.com, click on the Brick House logo. It's in the left, right hand side of the Stogie Geeks um, webpage, and click on that. Find a retailer near you that uh, sells Brick House. They have five packs available. Uh, they can ship them to you, so you stay out of harm's way, and then you go. And then when you Enjoy a brick house at my house. You not yeah. my house, but at your house, right? You go, <laughs> yeah. you 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 take a picture of you enjoying that stick. Use hashtag brick house at my house, and the winner will be uh, getting some JC Newman brick house swag, which will help you out throughout the COVID crisis and stuff you need for survival. So check that out. Uh, if you go to Facebook.com forward slash Stogie Geeks, you can get the details of that. If you want the details, you can email me at joehstogiegeeks.com. I will forward you the, all of the details of the contest so you can bring the links to where you can get um, a brick house to enjoy at your house. So there you go. Um, something to do during the crisis oh, yeah. for sure. You know, and don't forget, Stogie Geeks, I want to encourage you to get out there and try the stick of the week. That's the Placencia Cosecha 146. Awesome. Uh, I got a message uh, with for that you, stick Joe. makes for oh. a great special occasion. What's up, Drew? Well, I said I got a message for you. You mind if I oh, read it to you? Oh, what's up? So oh, yeah. Well, where's this coming from? Uh, it's coming from our YouTube uh, channel. So, uh, okay. just, uh, so Gustavo Andrade wanted you to know. Oh. Yep. So he, he says, hey, Joe, first time I watched you guys uh, live working from home. We'll have to leave in 20 minutes, but wanted to to uh, say hi. and Cheers. Yeah, man. Gustavo, if you're still watching us, he just celebrated a birthday. 
uh, he, 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 same, same thing, same way I met you, man. He started tagging yeah. me in photos and he pays attention and he's still waiting for me to ship him his pack of cigars too. I told him <laughs> I would, I would raid Paul's humidor and get a thing. Gustavo, I got to go in order. I, I got to ship Drew cigars first, then I'm going to ship yours. It isn't, if I could share my screen, which I can, but I'm not going to do it for the show. It's in my to-do folder, which um, our director of operations at Security Weekly has a to-do folder um, before Nervous Breakdown. That's an ongoing joke. Uh, I should probably did do. Uh, I started off as a to-do folder, and my to-do list is, like, huge. Looking for a story geek intern, take care of all of that stuff. Obviously, they would have to be local to take yeah. care of all that stuff because it's tough to keep up with some of the comments and doing all of that and, and there and, and all of that, too. And if we're talking about yeah. starting a Slack channel coming soon – and, and interacting more with our uh, Story Geeks listeners, we're going to have to be well, well prepared for that, too. So, yeah. Gustavo, just celebrated the birthday. Happy birthday to Gustavo. Happy birthday to uh, Alec, too, from Alec yes. and Bradley. He's got a birthday coming up, he said, in our Double previous days. interview there. Um, yes. So happy that Gustavo uh, tuned in and chimes in. He, he emails me about every other week and says hi. Um you know, and says that he won't wait for my sticks, but I promise you they will come at some point. I'm just way behind on all of that stuff. It's 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 dauntingly embarrassing at this point. Well, but well, that's what, I try to that's answer what, I try to answer all the story geeks with the emails that I can to get them out. Yeah. Sometimes they email me on a Monday when it gets published and I get to them by Thursday and it's just a, my inbox is a hot mess. So <laughs> yeah. well that's well, that's what COVID nineteen is doing to us right now, you know. And it's cool, you know. It's it's kind of nice to have this inter interface interaction with our listeners. And uh, we, I definitely invite you guys to send me some emails, not your complaints, just all your fabulous five star <laughs> emails <laughs> to Drew yeah, at StogieGeeks.com. Email Drew at StogieGeeks.com. Show him some love. There you go. <laughs> and, um, well, ah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. You know, Gustavo is a super cool guy, man. He is. Someday. Someday, like you, I will meet him in person, and I look forward to the day, you know, that you meet people. And I'm looking forward to us potentially launching this um, this Slack channel, uh, yeah. going over there. Uh, just so you story geeks know, Drew and I are tinkering around with that and and whatnot. I just don't want it to be a place to where you dump a bunch of questions and it's another to do list, and then I respond like a week later. I got to figure out a process for that, so that is in the making. I think that's one of the things that's coming out of this COVID uh, situation is it's allowing us to slow down a little bit. Obviously, being home, reformat the way business is done, tweak some things, develop some new things. And away we go with the new processes post-COVID that will hopefully be here to stay, keeping uh, everyone and wishing everyone safe and making sure that they remain safe and out of harm's way and that they stay positive as best they can through this situation. Amen. There you go. Stow Your Geeks, I want to remind you, we keep the conversation going all week long. Go to StowYourGeeks.com. Check out some of the sticks that we have been reviewing. If you want the show notes, you go to storygeeks.com forward slash 328. That's today's show. Last week's show was storygeeks.com forward slash 327. Next show will be storygeeks329. You get the point there. Or you can just go to the search function, type in the interviewee name, and uh, it should come up in our Story Geeks uh, search platform over there. Also, facebook.com forward slash storygeeks. We are on Instagram. Drew and I are on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow us there. Drew's email is drew at storygeeks.com. I'm Joe at storygeeks.com. Uh, tell your friends. Tell them to watch and listen to the show. I want to thank the listeners for watching and listening. I want to remind you that behind every cigar, there's a story worth knowing. Get out there and support your local business. Hopefully, they have curbside service. You can do that in a safe manner for the upcoming weeks. Special thanks to J.C. Newman Cigar Company, Havana Cigar Club, Placencia Cigars, and McAuliffe Cigars. Drew, any final words? No, just everybody stay safe, continue, and uh, we'll see you in about a... Uh, we're we're going to see them in two weeks, right? Yeah, we're taking a week off. We got some uh, some some homework we got to do, some catch-up yep. we got to do on some other things. Our next Story Geek show will not be the 8th of May. It will be the 15th of May. Is my math right? 
That's yes, correct. it's right 15. on the calendar. So story geeks, be safe. Hopefully we'll have uh, some more restrictions lifted. We can get positive. We can stay positive, stay strong, and we'll see you next time. Peace.